Category U, Rising Star Award. Specialist Christopher R. Toby of the 222 Broadcast Operations Detachment. Runtime, 10 minutes. Primary audience, Iraq. With only four people, they take care of nearly half of the working dogs in Baghdad. Every week, the 6th squad of the 28th Medical Detachment performs dozens of medical checkups, conducts basic lab work, and monitors the stray population. Their new facilities are the most well-equipped in the country with a top-of-the-line operating room. However, a few months ago, they were performing the same mission out of the back of an SUV. This, this used to be basically a housing area, um, and so we had to basically come up with a plan, figure out what this building actually needed, and then put in the renovation requests, get it approved. Um, until then, we were basically working out of a Ford Explorer, um, just driving from one kennel to the other, providing vaccine services, and that anything beyond that had to be referred out. Working dogs like Charlie perform a multitude of tasks that keep service members safe. Without regular checkups from trained veterinarians, Charlie and his handlers would not be able to complete their mission. It's extremely important that they see the vets. The dogs have to be at 100% to do their jobs. The vets can detect a lot of problems early on to help keep them in the fight. These missions often take them out of the IZ to remote stations in and around Baghdad. It gives them that extra opportunity to come into the veterinary and say, you know, these are some of the issues that have come up. Can you help me out with that? The team takes care of working dogs at US, UN, and NATO stations. Reporting from Baghdad, I'm Specialist Christopher Toby. From the jaw-crushing tackles, epic last-minute drives, 50-yard passes, scantily clad cheerleaders, nothing is more American than football. It's true in the Pittsburgh coal mines, in the heart of Green Bay, and even in the heart of Iraq. Let me show you how some fans are keeping up with their teams, even though they're thousands of miles away from the closest matchups. Even though these guys have everything a football fan could ask for on a Sunday afternoon, except maybe beer, there's another group on the other side of the base. Let's go check out their party. All right, we've got the second group of guys here and they are pumped up. Let's see how they keep up with their football, even in a combat zone in Iraq. What is it like watching football out here in the, the middle of a combat zone? It, it takes out the, the stress environment for a little bit, you know? You don't have any money on the game, do you? No, I don't gamble for games. That's good. Yes. That's good to say on camera. Particularly with general order number one. Yeah, yes, no gamble on camera. No gambling. No gambling on camera. <laughs> Can we turn the cameras off? If I can't get them on a the football field, I get them on the bones table. You know what I'm saying? On the bones table? Bones meaning dominoes. I don't do nothing. White boy, white boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the translation. The do dominoes. We play a lot of dominoes. We got the table right here. So that's all you want in the world? Yeah. Alright, I think I'm starting to get this. You can't even forecast out this storm, man. I'm about to you know how to play that one out? Oh, it don't take that much thinking. Oh, man, come on. Domino! I'm the biggest boss that you've seen thus far. You done what? So you're obviously a Steelers fan. When you were a kid, like, did you just want to grow up to be a Steelers fan, or do you want to play for the Steelers? I wanted to be the greatest Steeler of all time, actually. Did you ever play, like, back in high school, college? Yeah, actually, that was a pretty big thing. Uh, in high school, they called me the locomotive. So, I mean, if that really describes anything for you. How'd you pick up that name? Set. What is this yeah. top <laughs> Did he just good game you? So are you still the locomotive? I'm like Gatorade. It's still in me. That is terrible. That 
is terrible. So if you haven't figured it out, all you need is a few friends, a few folding chairs, a cooler of near beer, and the game on TV. This American ritual helps us relax in a combat zone and makes home feel a little bit closer. Reporting for Freestyle Rock, I'm Specialist Christopher Toby. All right, yeah! Untreated depression is the number one cause for suicide. If you are worried about a friend, remember the acronym ACE. A. Ask. Have the courage to ask direct questions. C. Care. Prevent them from hurting themselves, but don't use force. E. Escort. Stay with your friend until you can get them help. Never leave them alone. Remember to ask, care, and escort, and you can help prevent suicide. For more information on suicide prevention, visit apgea.army.mil. Freedom Radio, that was Tony Basil with Mickey, and Sergeant Cook is still dancing, so we're going to go straight into the next one-hit wonder. This one is for her, so keep on dancing to Electric Avenue by Eddie Grant on Freedom Radio. Making it to number four on our countdown of VH1's top ten one-hit wonders, that was Right Said Fred with I Am Too Sexy, and that one, I am sure, is going to be stuck in your head for at least another two days. So I apologize, but it was on the countdown. My hands were tied. Or how about the guy in the video stuck in your head? Ooh. Uh, He's well, got he, this uh, wife beater tank yeah, top on. Yeah, he wasn't, but now he is. Okay. Oh, please, please stop there. But you did go to a catwalk, kind of like a fashion show event. Yes, I did. In Q West last weekend, it was very cool. A bunch of people turned out. Like, you don't, I don't ever see that here where we are, but uh, they have a really huge MWR tent in Q West. And so I want to say uh, hundreds. But, you know, I'm probably exaggerating just a tad. But a lot, a lot of people showed up. And it was a fashion show with soldiers, uh, airmen, military service members. It was really cool. Yeah. I don't want to I don't want to ramble on and on and on because I had such a good time. But, yeah, it was really interesting. Well, from what you saw, what is the um, latest fashion here in Iraq? Oh, well, the, right now the hot trend is the de the uh, the uniform, the ACUs. Oh, oh, good. That is that is a hot trend, but uh, coming in at close second, I guess, would be your, your PT uniform. Oh, well, I wear both of those a, a lot. You are in you are in the it group, Sweet. my friend. Because I was sweating it. I have horrible style sense, and thank you. I, I feel so much better. I, work it. Yes, I will work that. And while we try to work and get that song out of our head, we've got another one-hit wonder. This one comes from a little bit out of the 80s, a little bit more recent. I think it was about mid-90s when they came out with this one. It was Deep Blue Something with Breakfast at Tiffany's. Ah, uh, one of my, I know this one. Yes, it is a great one. You're listening to it here on Freedom Radio. Send your request into Freedom Radio at a rock.centcom.mil. Freedom Radio, that was Corey Hart with Sunglasses at Night. That one was a great one hit wonder. Didn't make the list of top 10 of the VH1 one hit wonders, but it's still a great one and it comes from the 80s, so I'm sliding that one in here. When you're normally used to listening to Totally 80s with Crystal Cook, she's still around. She's still around. She didn't go anywhere, but she is letting me take over just for the weekend so that I can do a one hit wonders countdown. We've got three more coming up. We're going to have the top three VH1 one hit wonders and and we're going to have a couple of requests. So if you've got a request, send it into Freedom Radio at a rock.centcom.mil. That's Freedom Radio at a rock.centcom.mil. We've got a couple coming up right now, um, but we're also going to be talking about some one hit wonders who couldn't sing a note. That's going to be a lot of fun, so stay tuned for that. One hit wonders who couldn't sing, but right now is some a one hit wonder who they can definitely sing. It is Europe. With the final countdown, you're listening to Freedom Radio. Send your request, freedomradio at rock.centcom.mil. Freedom Radio, you are listening to Toby's Time Warp and Cookies, um, Totally 80s. And that one was not the original. No, that was actually Will Ferrell singing that one um, from the Anchorman Afternoon Delight. Definitely a one-hit wonder. We've got some more one-hit wonders coming up. We've got a request coming up as well. But I wanted to tell you about some one-hit wonders who never sang a note. Technically, the term one-hit wonder is occasionally used to refer to artists other than musical performers, including writers such as Harper Lee, who wrote just the one book, To Kill a Mockingbird, which sold 30 million copies, but then didn't really have any other hits after that. Also, it's used like when applying to the film industry with the... A- 